Hello everybody, this is Unahumade Two Tone Thoughts, and I actually forgot that I reset OBS so that I wouldn't have to deal with the guys in it. Um give me a second. Give me a second. And today I'll be playing Doki Doki Literature Club as soon as it pops up so I can add its window. Pop up. Pop up. Pop up. Pop up. This is totally not helping. <laughs> Open. Open. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. You guys still can't see it, but that's because I need to add window capture. Okay. Let's see if this works correctly. I don't think this is working correctly. What the hell is this? Yes! Oh my lord, what the hell? Window hatcher open. Game capture. Let's try this. Yay, it worked! <laughs> like, this is what happens when your average run of the mill YouTuber decides to delete the video file that she had. Or, the video settings she'd saved on OBS. I'm pretty sure you guys can see- yeah, you guys can see my mouth. Okay. By the way, I don't remember where I left off. Which one's the latest one? Oh my god. So this was- February, March... Is there a second page? I haven't gotten to a second page, so I'm guessing this is the... Close... Okay... <clears throat> We're all done sharing comes, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second... Is it just me or did you say something strange right now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviate from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Maybe it's because Monica's a mass murderer. I don't know. And Caleb did tell me everything for the game, but I've completely forgotten because that was like last week of school and I've wiped my memory of that week. <laughs> Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. <laughs> Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. <laughs> Look, the only different thing the only thing different is that Siori isn't here. Ah. It does seem you're right. Sigh. <laughs> I I meant to sigh there, but whatever! Sayori always helps lighten the mood a bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a, l off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyways? I thought she went to pee. Masuki, <laughs> please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times not to go home with you, with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. No. 
first of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. <laughs> and second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Who? That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? Calm down, guys. Sorry for the lawnmower. My dad is doing yard stuff. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so I just got ignored. Bitch, please. <laughs> Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Nasuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that by all by yourself, Nasuki? Challenge accepted. As, and as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. The pamphlets. So Yuri will be helping me design. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can uh, um guys, can you help me with something? Come up with something for Yuri. I. I'm useless. <laughs> N no! <laughs> That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? N no, Nasuki's batting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. <laughs> But I, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere. <laughs> oh my lord. Yuri's expression suddenly changes after she stares at the desk and focuses and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Anahime. You're the one who's totally useless, damn! Wow! Screw you, Monica. I fucking hate you as a character. I've hated you from the start, and I don't know why I hate you. I just do. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... So, but I didn't realize that was me saying that, but even so... I still hate her, <laughs> but still. <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It'd probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. Oh, fuck you, bitch! No. I would be really appreciative of that. Blah. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I can give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyways. Nasuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki... You mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. And he might not be like like to be around you if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may not be suited to he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Ah, I can't bake today. Hold on! I never said that. How could I how hard could it be to make a few decorations anyways? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Anahime too. You, what are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? So what do you think? 
guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Onihime to decide how he likes to contribute. Besides, yeah. He hasn't got, really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he'll be interested- Oh my lord, you literally just said! I, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Oh, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know what I am going to wind up doing, I am going to wind up going through finding the rest of the endings I didn't get, like how to get to them, writing down how to get to them so I won't forget, and actually play through them without trying to spoil anything too drastically. Yeah. Anahime, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh... Of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. I I have a feeling that this may be a huge drastic point in the story, actually. I'm going to go with Yuri because that's like the thing that I've been going through. But I'm going to go with Yuri because that's the route I've gone with so far. But I am going to be completely honest. I feel like these are drastically different depending on how much you get your relationships up with everybody. I don't know if there's a way to make a poem that will satisfy everybody. But if there is a way, I feel like these choices would be very even. Or possibly doing, I think since there are four days, doing a poem for each character each day may also work very well. So. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. M me? Are you serious? Why would you... Nasuki. I can already tell that you're about to say something mean. No. I was just saying. <sighs> so you'll be helping Yuri then, Anahime? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, wait. You know what? I'm just gonna save Caleb's, right? Um... I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things, so I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Nasuki, will you be able to handle the baking by yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Every everyone can tell that Nasuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word. But I suppose I look forward to it a little bit. My foot fell asleep. Do you feel the same way, Onihime? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Nasuki? Nasuki. What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no. That's not what I meant at all. Uh. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I I'm sorry for this. I re I really don't- I don't really know why only he may pick me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had! They really go well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... 
I get it, I get it. <laughs> These two bickering, and Monica is supposed- Well, Sayori is usually the peacemaker, but Monica, why aren't you stepping up as peacemaker? Like, I, I know that they need to figure out how to get along on their own, but you are the peacemaker, goddammit! <laughs> I'm kind of surprised, though. Well, why? Um... I'm- well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Mizuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When Shiori... When Shiori has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something that Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and forget about themselves. Now, I kind of appreciated it. So I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to save this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh, <laughs> I believe you. What? Oh! So I can see the whole picture, okay. Yeah, I'm actually using a natural mouse this time for anyone who's confused as to why I was shocked about that. I hope everyone... I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of there then. Nah. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Nasuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh um. Eh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of content contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. I, should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. All right, then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by her house on Sunday. Eh? My house? I is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense, but if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Foreshadowing! I'm sorry, but there is something... Alright. That is foreshadowing played well, actually. I'm pretty sure that's foreshadowing. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. Oh, the irony of the situation. <laughs> I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Monohime. I think we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting that- You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. <laughs> I chose you because- I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. Yeah. But- but- Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. I wanted- you want me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh. I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. All there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. He looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if her... As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. 
I am too. After that change, I make my way out of the door and Yuri follows. And I'm gonna say what happens next for the next episode. See there. Why are they black all of a sudden? Why are they blacked out? Okay, well, anyways, this is Uneven the Two-Tailed Fox signing off, and I will see all of you in the next video. As I quit. Ah.